My name is Christopher Gardner. I'm a professor of medicine at the Stanford Prevention Research Center. I'm primarily a research scientist and mostly a nutrition scientist. Love food, love trying to figure out how to get people to eat more healthfully. I've been doing this for about 30 years and I got a little frustration in my job which is motivating people to make healthy behavior changes. Our recommendations really haven't changed much in the last two decades. Eat a more plant-based diet, eat more whole foods, eat less packaged processed food, less fast food. The key is how do you get the behavior change? A lot of my research has been about taking adults who have high blood cholesterol or blood pressure, a little extra weight, and they're motivated a little bit out of fear. I've been saying diet is connected to heart disease, cancer, diabetes. Those are all things that are probably gonna happen decades in the future. And it's a little hard to get them motivated to make a change today for what's gonna happen out there. In this whole spectrum of health research, we've got treating disease, preventing disease, promoting health, and I've always been super proud that my division of research is mostly interested in preventing disease and promoting health. But the Wellness Living Laboratory presents an opportunity to take that one notch further into optimizing health. So in terms of incentives for motivating meaningful behavior change around diet and what you eat, I love this idea of thinking, how vibrant could you be at the end of today? How alert and creative could you be next week and next month. Somehow this is flipping some of my study designs on their head and focusing much more on the here and now and wellness instead of some of the more shaky outcomes that are too far in the future. Another really fascinating part of the Wellness Living Laboratory is who we're working with. So we're going to be doing this in the greater San Francisco Bay Area, one of the most culturally and economically diverse areas of the world. Crowdsourcing folks who are confused about paleo or Mediterranean or gluten-free diets. A lot of these folks are interested in dietary supplements and not sure what to take. So we would like to crowdsource these folks and engage them in the design of the studies, picking some of the research questions. We'll have a hugely diverse group of folks to work with and that ends up being more generalizable in the long run. When we generate some of these results, we'll be planning to roll these out to the rest of the country and the rest of the world. So I could not be more excited about the opportunity of the Wellness Living Laboratory and what's that going to do for the nutrition research that I'm so excited about doing.